Hey what's up everyone, welcome to another Lightroom editing tutorial. In this video we are going to make use of the insanely huge dynamic range of modern day RAW files. And we are going to take this image and turn it into this one by just using a bit of Lightroom. As always you can find a link to download the RAW file in the description of the video and now let's jump into it. Alright, so here we are in Lightroom. You can see this scene has a ton of contrast with the sun being in the image while a very dark tree is standing right there in the center and foreground. And I want to balance the exposure using just a single RAW file, so no HDR or exposure blending included in this video. However, looking at this histogram you can see the exposure is quite good, there is no overexposure, we just have a little bit of underexposure just in the tree, which we should be able to fix with just a few adjustments. So the first thing I want to do is to change the profile and set it to Adobe Landscape. This will not change too much with the brightness, but this adds some very lovely colors to the image and I'm going to aim for a very vibrant golden hour scene. So that's a good start for the editing. What we can do next is to simply bring up the temperature a notch, making the whole scene even warmer. And I don't think I need to touch the tint. I think this looks quite good so far. Now for the exposure. The very first thing I want to do on this shot is to just bring up the overall exposure. And I'm raising it quite a bit because I want to restore a lot of details from the darkest parts. So that is looking like a good spot. However, of course, due to the raised exposure, we are getting some overblown areas, especially in the sky around the sun. To counter that, the easiest thing to do for us is to simply bring down the highlights. And as we are just bringing back details like clouds in the sky, you see with just two adjustments done in the tones panel, we have brought much more life to this image. So next up, I do want to further raise the shadows for some more details in those darkest areas. And then let's bring up the whites. And while I'm bringing up the whites, I'm carefully looking at the histogram since I don't want to overexpose anything, of course. And at this point, the histogram looks very, very well exposed. So I do want to add a little bit of contrast and I'm doing that by simply bringing down the blacks. That's looking good. Now there is a little bit of underexposure going on. If I hold down the Alt key and click on the black slider, you can see it's right there in the foreground, somewhere around here, which is an area that is not important. So that unexposed area can just stay unexposed. Next up, I do want this image to be very sharp and clear. So I'm going to add some texture, which will help me with that. Also, I'm going to bring up the vibrance just for some stronger color tones. And that is looking like a great image already. Now we can work on some masking to further enhance the image. And the first thing I want to do is to add some kind of darkness to the top part of the sky. And since this area appears mostly blue, we can simply use a color range mask. So click on range here, choose color range. And I'm going to pick a blue color tone from the sky up here and I'm going to pick another blue color tone by holding down the shift key and clicking somewhere further down more towards the center of the image just to have a wider selection of blue tones. Maybe let's add a third one again holding down the shift key and just clicking in here to be safe. Of course this will also target areas somewhere in the foreground but I don't want to affect them. So what I can do here is to click on that mask say subtract and here I'm choosing a linear gradient. And then I'm simply going to drag a linear gradient up like this. So the mask is only affecting the sky. With the mask set up, I'm going to bring down the exposure and I'm dropping it quite a bit to add contrast and just make the shot a little more interesting. Perfect. Next up, I do want to add a little bit of glow just in this area. And therefore I'm using a radial gradient, make it really thin and white. And I'm trying to overlap that forest in the distance. So the glow effect will be a little more visible. In here I'm bringing up the blacks and I'm reducing the dehaze. 
that looks great if you want you can add some more colors to this spot by bringing up the temperature and thus we're making this area just a little more yellowish perfect finally it's time to work on the foreground and here we can use another linear gradient so i'm just trying to cover the pretty much all of the foreground right there and i'm going to use some clarity and some texture to make the foreground more interesting looking good so far let's see maybe i do want to target that shadow right here and make it slightly darker i'm going to use another color range mask just click somewhere in the shadow right there that's looking like a good selection again i'm making use of that subtract button choose linear gradient just take away a part of the selection from the top and i think i'm also going to subtract using a brush and just brush away parts which do not belong to that shadow just very very roughly it should be fine and here now let's bring down the exposure a bit just for some further contrast that looks great so that is the image after the masking adjustments you can see that's a huge difference now we can fine tune it some more doing a bit of color grading and i'm always starting in the hsl panel here i just want to work a bit on the saturation so what does that mean i'm going to bring up the orange saturation as well as the yellow saturation and i'm bringing down the green saturation just so the foreground is not that vibrant and i'm going to bring up the blue saturation and with those adjustments i just made those sunset colors a little stronger as well as the blue part of the sky so that looks nice i'm not going to touch the hue or the luminance instead i want to head into the color grading tab to do some split toning here i'm starting with the highlights and in this image the highlights are mostly warm because well i was shooting during sunset i can make those colors even stronger by just choosing a warm hue for the highlights so let's go with something in the yellow range right there and i'm going to really increase the saturation that looks great now of course we don't want to be overwhelmed by all those warm color tones so let's head into the midtones for the midtones, I'm choosing a very cold color tone somewhere around here. And again, I'm bringing up the saturation quite a bit. All right. And then for the shadows, I'm doing the same thing with the cold color tone for the hue. But I'm going to use a rather low amount of saturation. That should be enough. One more thing for the color grading, I'm going to open up the calibration panel. And here I'm going to bring down the blue primary hue and again raise the saturation perfect so at this point we are almost done just one more thing i want to do and that's the sharpening in the details tab so in here let's bring down the radius increase the details and of course i'm going to add some masking to only sharpen the important parts and then just raise the amount of sharpening Perfect, and that's the image after just a few Lightroom adjustments. So I hope this video was helpful and interesting. If you have any questions left, as always, feel free to ask in the comments and thank you very much for watching this video.